हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम स्टूडेंट्स पंजाब एंड सिंध बैंक रिलीज अ नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ स्पेशलिस्ट ऑफिसर फॉर स्केल वन टू थ्री एंड फोर देर आर टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन वैकेंसीज फॉर वेरियस वट यू से वेरियस स्किल्स राइट सो वेरियस वैकेंसीज आर दे फॉर वेरियस प्रोफाइल्स दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे सो प्लीज नोट द लास्ट डेट टू अप्लाई so the last day to apply is 15th of september 2024 okay it's already 12th so you just have 3 days more to apply i'm little late now but 15th of september is the last day to apply the minimum age uh, the minimum age for hr officer so its minimum is 20 uh, maximum is 32 as on 1st of august 2024 so please note that and there is just one vacancy for hr so we are focused on the credit credit scale to minimum age required 25 maximum 35 so total 25 vacancies are there for forex seven vacancies are there hr scale to six vacancies are there for treasury two vacancies are there for senior manager uh, credit uh, six vacancies are there maximum age requirement is 38 if you are up to 38 years old as on 1st of august 2024 you are eligible for accounts uh, for scale 3 it's the age requirement is same so you can see the number of vacancies okay for risk uh, the, for scale 3 the age criteria is almost uh, is same for scale 4 the maximum age to apply is 40 the minimum is 28 okay so four vacancies for risk scale 3 for two for treasury scale 3 uh, one for hr scale 4 and one for risk scale 4 okay so relaxation is available to the reserved category candidates i hope you are already aware of it for scs tob cb wbd category candidates for ex servicemen people affected by riots all all of them they get the uh, relaxation <clears throat> so once we have the courses for all these uh, exams right for credit risk and forex link to join the courses is available in the description okay so qualification required for the hr officer you should be a graduate that's point number 1 plus a 2 year full time 2 uh, year full time post graduate degree program in hr personal management hrd social work or labor law theek hai so uh, mba in hr if you have done mba in hr mba in prof, uh, personal management uh, pg dbm in personal management pg dbm in social work especially the from uh, tes uh, tata institute of social service even that is acceptable uh, ma in social work that is acceptable okay so post qualification experience of 1 year is required in relevant area in a bank or an nbfc or a financial institution theek hai uh, for manager credit scale to graduation is required plus graduation in any discipline plus a professional qualification like mba full time preferably in banking finance uh, banking and finance marketing forex credit from a university institute recognized by government of india so see the word preferably is there even if you have done mba in hr you are eligible because preferably is mentioned preferable likha hua the finance marketing students are preferred forex students are preferred okay even if you have done pg dba and pg dba even that is valid candidates having professional qualifications like ca cwa cfa frm caib from a university institute board recognized by the government of india uh they will be preferred right let's move forward so ca are not directly uh, eligible but they are preferred okay so mandatory 2 years of post qualification experience is required in a uh, in a bank nbfc financial institution or credit rating agency and your experience should be in in the credit department theek hai for accounts manager uh, manager accounts scale to uh, chartered accountant you should be a chartered accountant and minimum 1 year of post qualification experience is required in a bank nbfc financial institution or a credit rating agency for manager forex scale to graduation is required from a government recognized university or institution a candidate must be certified in foreign exchange operations post graduation is not required for forex uh, manager scale 2 but 
a foreign exchange operation ka certificate is required so minimum 2 years of post qualification experience is required in the forex department uh, in a any banking and financial services institution psus or central government or state government uh, bodies wahan pe koi bhi experience aapka chalega right so manager in hr scale to graduation plus 2 years uh, uh, post graduation or pg dbm is required with specialization in uh, personal management hr hrm labor law or social work is required uh, minimum 3 years of post qualification experience is required in a bank nbfc or financial institution for treasury graduation in any discipline from a university institute recognized by the government of india and and hai yahan pe mba is required mba with specialization in finance mba pg dbm pg dba from a recognized university and minimum 2 years of post qualification experience uh, relevant experience is required in a bank financial institution in any in any public sector or private sector bank or any financial institution you will you would be eligible for the senior manager credit scale 3 qualification anyone uh, mba full time preferably again in banking finance marketing forex credit so preferably likha even if you you are not from banking finance uh, marketing forex then you are eligible as well or graduate in any discipline and professional pg dba pg dbm even if you have not done mba pg dba or pg dbm is acceptable okay minimum 5 years of post qualification experience is required in credit department of a bank or a financial institution even in a credit rating agency is also acceptable senior manager uh, account ca so you should be a chartered accountant uh, recognized by icai from icai institute se aapne chartered accountancy ka course kiya hai plus 5 years of post qualification relevant experience is required for senior manager manager forex scale 3 graduation only graduation is required plus foreign exchange operation ka certification and minimum 3 years of post qualification experience is required in the relevant field for the senior manager forex dealer uh, scale 3 you should be a chartered accountant or cma ca uh, ca or uh, cfa from cfa institute usa or a graduation degree uh, in any discipline uh, from a university approved uh, recognized by ugc and uh, a full time mba full time mba in finance then it is acceptable or uh, a diploma in treasury investment risk management from iibf right so if you have any of these qualifications you are eligible minimum 4 years of post qualification experience is required with minimum 2 years as a dealer in treasury at a nationalized or a private sector bank फॉर द सीनियर मैनेजर लॉ ऑफिसर स्केल थ्री बैचलर डिग्री इन लॉ इज रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम आई रिकोगनाइज रिकोगनाइज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट्स रेगुलेटरी बॉडीज एंड एनरोल्ड एज एन एडवोकेट विद द बार काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया यू शुड हैव एनरोलमेंट विद द बार काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया फोर ईयर्स ऑफ पोस्ट क्वालिफिकेशन एक्सपीरियंस इज रिक्वायर्ड इन केस यू डोंट हैव दैट Uh, minimum 4 years of post qualification experience is required as a law officer in legal department of a bank uh, central or state government institution or a psu if you don't have 4 years of experience in any uh, in a in a bank state or central government psu then post ex, uh, post qualification experience of at least 6 years as a practicing advocate independently if you are independently working in any law firm then 6 years of uh, experience is required uh, out of which at least 1 year of working as a law officer in a bank or a financial institution okay so 1 year of experience as a law officer in a bank is also acceptable if you were already working in any any other uh, in any other law firm okay senior manager risk so candidate must be a bsc statistics Uh, from AICT UGC approved college or university with 55% marks or MBA in finance with 55% marks or advanced degree in analytical field uh, MSc in statistics applied maths operation data science uh, and or 
completed professional courses like CA, CWA, CS, graduate in any discipline or uh, graduate in any discipline university recognized by government of India. So in that case, if you are just a graduate, you don't you don't have any professional qualification or MBA, you have a professional risk management certification from Prima Institute. So in that case, you would be eligible. Okay. So minimum five years of post qualification experience is required as a, out of which three years must be in the risk function in a public sector bank, private sector bank, in any NBFC, small finance bank, rating agency, analytical firm, reputed brokerage agent, agencies, fintech institution, that is acceptable. Five years of post qualification experience is required, out of which three years should be in the uh, risk field. Senior manager, treasury, uh, same on the chartered accountancy course, CA, uh, CA or CMA or graduation degree with 55% marks plus you need MBA in finance. Okay. So you are a CA, CMA or a chartered uh, financial analyst uh, from CF Institute USA or uh, graduation with 55% plus MBA uh, in finance with 60% marks in aggregate, 60% marks in aggregate it is required with five years of post qualification experience with five years of post qualification experience in the in officer cadre with minimum three years as an officer in the treasury field of a nationalized or a private sector bank, right? So uh, chief manager human resources graduation plus two years of MBA in HR or PGDBM in HR with minimum eight years of post qualification uh, post qualification work in the HR in the in any bank in BFC or a financial institution, right? For the chief manager risk uh, scale four, the the eligibility is same as the risk manager in the previous uh, uh, previously mentioned in the previous slides, the but the work experience required is eight years, eight years of post qualification experience is required in the risk management credit, treasury, ALM, NBFC or a financial institution. So proper bond periods are there. Bond amount shall be equivalent of three months of gross salary, three months of gross salary, initial plus basic plus two years of DA uh, plus DA in respective of the officer scales, right? So bond period is two years for uh, two years for scale two, three and four and three years for scale one. And there is a probation period of two years of, for scale one and one years for scale two, three and four, right? So credit history, they are going to check your credit history, uh, credit history of at least 650 is required at the time of joining, there will be proper documentation. If there is any problem with your credit history, please fix it. So in the selection process, there will be a written exam in which you are uh, supposed to score 40% marks for the general category and 35% for the reserved category, there will be a written exam followed by a proper interview. Okay, so candidates would be selected uh, based upon the written exams and your profile and then there will be a personal interview. Let's move on to the exam pattern. So there will be English language, general awareness and professional knowledge, right? So 20 marks uh, for English language, 20 for general awareness and 20 uh, and 60 marks for the professional knowledge, right? So total 100 marks and time allocation is like 105 minutes. Students time management won't be an issue. I can assure you that right time management ka koi major issue nahi hoga, right. So 100 marks are there and 40% marks are required for the final selection for general categories and 35% for the reserved category candidates. Okay. So the syllabus, uh, I'm going to discuss the syllabus for the credit. So I'm going to discuss the syllabus for credit in the future. I'll be sharing the syllabus for the Forex professional knowledge and the risk management professional knowledge. Uh, for English language, there will be reading comprehensions out of 20. I can expect, I can tell you that there will be 10 questions from RCs only and rest of the questions would be from error spotting sentence improvement and rearrangement of sentences. This is the basic uh, format of the exam. In the general awareness, RBI guidelines are most important here. The banking reforms, regulatory bodies in India, international banking, RBI circulars are very important. Government schemes are very important. 
latest updates in the financial and the capital market uh, financial terms banking terms acts related to banking uh, priority sector lending nps or fic act see students of professional knowledge and general awareness a lot of topics are common between uh, these two subjects please note that okay so commercial bank rbi's monetary policy mergers and acquisitions in the banking industry credit rating agencies right in india uh, any obituaries uh, recently appointed brand ambassadors important days uh, we release that uh, monthly gk digest read it cabinet ministries government schemes indian financial system uh, financial market instruments reports and indices important committees foreign investment and trade growth numbers by various institutions union budget mous head of various financial uh, institutions mutual funds basel norms regulatory bodies in india then joint military exercises there are proper lists that we prepare every month a uh, list of summits rank of indian various international reports a uh, list of appointments important days with theme mous uh, sports events awards and honors right so that's what you you are supposed to cover for the general awareness section i would recommend you should read uh, uh, a newspaper every day theek hai for the professional knowledge credit uh, you start with the overview of credit principles of lending credit policies types of borrowers credit delivery credit appraisal and credit rating basic understanding and then financial statement analysis and the analysis of financial statement in that you should be able to understand uh, the the particulars of the balance sheet the cash flow statement fund flow statement capital budgeting right uh, and then ratio analysis is most important part in the financial management uh indian financial system regulatory bodies in india money market capital market instruments time value is important derivatives leverages capital budgeting cost of capital capital structure they are important then export finance ke topics are also very important priority sector lending irac norms are important uh non fund based credit facilities government sponsored schemes are very important and the retail loans so management of impaired asset means the simple understanding you need to have uh, simple irac norms types of charges uh, then ibc surf ic act right and documentation mein aapka registration duty stamp duty act wagaira sara cover ho jata hai limitation law it is covered in the limitation act uh documentation mein sara aa jayega so rbi circulars are most important i would highly recommend that you should do at least 2 years of rbi circulars plus master circulars you are supposed to do master circulars of rbi you are supposed to do uh, companies act contract act negotiable instruments act banking regulation act rbi act right uh, so banking regulation rbi and negotiable are most important for examination point of view so punjab and sindh bank so scale 1 2 3 and 4 courses are available on bankexamstudy.com link to join the courses are available in the description you can check If there is any doubt in your mind, you can ask your doubts. This is our WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts, and we are going to answer all your doubts. So that's I guess all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. So this is the list of our successful students in the past. All these students that took our courses in the past, and they cracked their respective exams, and I'm really really happy for them. You can be one of them in the future, and yes, you will be one of them in the future. Uh, that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye bye